Hello, this is Laura with Malmetia, and in this video I'm going to show you how to send a newsletter in Gmail with Malmetia. It's easy, safe and efficient. First you want to start by installing Malmetia from the Google Workplace Marketplace. So I'm going to open it here, I've got it in my tab already. The Workplace Marketplace is a platform where you can find all the apps compatible with the Google Suite. Malmetia is a tool that integrates with Gmail and Google Sheets to send personalised newsletters with Gmail. Once Malmetia is installed, open a new spreadsheet on Google Sheet. Then add your list of recipients to your spreadsheet. This spreadsheet will be the place where you can store your contacts and monitor the performance of your campaign. To create a mailing list, you can either enter your recipients manually or you can import your contacts. We're going to import here. To do that, you open the file and import and then select the document with all your contacts that you want to import, select and then import data and once this is done we can go ahead and open it now. So now you'll see that you've got your contact information in the spreadsheet. You want to make sure that all the cells in the column named email are filled and with a valid email address. If you don't want to customise your newsletter for each recipient, just include a single column named email to the spreadsheet. Once your list of recipients is ready, open Mailmetia. To open Mailmetia, you go to the Google Sheets menu and you select extensions here, and then Mailmetia, and then open Mailmetia. So here, uh, you've got the uh, Mailmetia interface, it's going to show you the number of emails you can send per day as well as the details of your newsletters campaign. Alright, now it's time to create your newsletter. To do that, click on create a new template. This is going to open up an editor where you can type your newsletter. Mailmetia's editor is exactly the same as Gmail's. You'll find all the actions that you need to customise your newsletter. All right, now it's time to personalize your newsletter. I'm gonna go ahead and paste it because I've already saved it to save us a bit, a bit of time. Don't forget to add the subject line. So I'm gonna call it Laura's uh, Newsletter. Here you go. And we're gonna talk about personalization. Why? Because it's really important and will improve your open rates. All right, so how do we go about personalizing your newsletter content? Well, it's really easy. Mailmetia enables you to transform a simple newsletter template into a mass of personalised newsletters. To insert a variable, it's very simple. For each variable, uh, you're going to add a double bracket just like this. So see, we've got first name here. So this is going to go and select the first name column in my Excel sheet and the company here. So make sure it always matches the header in your Google Sheets spreadsheet. All right, now we're gonna talk about how you can add images to the newsletter. So Mailmetia is based on Gmail's editor, so you can easily copy and paste images into the editor. I've copied my image and I'll go ahead and just paste it, simply as that. You can also add an image by using the um, icon here, attach image, and then you'll get an explanation on how to upload an image using um, ImageBB or Imgur. All right, now that the newsletter is ready, we'll go ahead and save it as template. Mailmetia offers a preview feature that is very useful to check your newsletters before sending them. To do that, just click on the preview emails button the preview mode gives you a glimpse of your newsletter and how it will look like for each recipient. This is for Sally and this is for Neil. We've got his name here and his company scrolling down. Everything looks great. You can also send yourself a test email by clicking on the receive a test email. It's recommended to test your newsletter on several devices to ensure that it's displayed correctly in any situation. All right, it's time to send your newsletter campaign with Gmail. Sending out your newsletter can be quite daunting at first, but 
don't worry, if you follow these steps, everything will go smoothly. That's it for me now. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you want to find out more about Melmetia, you can just click on the link available in the description below. Have a good day.